Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and today we are going to be talking about a product called Sea Lion and it is from a company called JetBrains. Now if you're a developer, you have probably heard of JetBrains at this point in time because they make tools for well, pretty much literally everything. Here we are on the JetBrains homepage. I'm going to bring up the developer tools, and then you're going to get an idea of what they make tools for. So they make uh, Sea Lion, which is the topic of today. That is a C and C++ cross-platform IDE. They also make one for Go, for Rust, for Ruby, for C Sharp, for Python, for PHP, for Java. You name it, they make it. Now, a couple of months ago, they had an announcement around WebStorm and Rider. And that was specifically this, that Rider and WebStorm free versions were being launched. Now, there are definitely some limitations to those free versions, specifically non-commercial use, but it did allow you to evaluate and use their tools. Or if you were working on a hobby project or free or open source or something to that effect, you could use Rider and WebStorm completely free. Now, WebStorm was all about JavaScript, TypeScript development, whereas Rider is sort of their game developer focused uh, IDE. It started off life as a C Sharp or .NET IDE, uh, but then they sort of started slowly adding things in like Unreal Engine, Blueprints, C++, that kind of thing. But if C++ was your primary language of choice, uh, instead of Rider, what you might have been interested in is a product called Sea Lion. Well, the cool thing here is Sea Lion just got the non-commercial treatment. So this is the same thing that they did uh, a couple of months ago. This was back in October, so about a half a year ago. Uh, they uh, made those other two free. Now Sea Lion has a free version available as well. Now you're going to notice in the uh, title and thumbnail for this, there is an asterisk because free is doing some heavy lifting. This isn't full-blown free. You still need to pay for their tools if you are using them in a commercial setting. But this does open it up for a ton of people. Now one thing I love about this is they actually start off with one of Bjorn Struthrup's uh, most famous quotes about C++. C makes it easy to shoot yourself in the foot. C++ makes it harder, but when you do it, it blows away your whole leg. I I've always liked that quote, and apparently they did too. So, uh, we can't make C and C++ simpler, but we can make working with them a bit easier. C Lion is now free for non-commercial use. Yes, finally. Whether you're a student, an Arduino experimenter, or someone who loves C and C++ with all your heart, despite all the challenges these languages present, I love how they just know what C++ experience is like. Uh, C Lion is now available to you for free, as long as you are not using it for commercial work. So what's happening? Last year, we implemented a new license model for Rust Rover, Rider, and WebStorm, making them free for non-commercial use. We're now extending this model to Sea Lion. If you're using it for non-commercial purposes such as learning, open source project development, content creation, which is interesting because content creation, you can actually, so in my case, I can make money off of ads, but I can use it on screen now. So there, there's certain areas where it kind of crosses over, um, or hobby development. Uh, you can uh, now do so for free. For commercial use, our existing licensing model still applies. Note that while Sea Lion is now joining uh, Rust Rover, Rider, and WebStorm and being free for non-commercial use, this update does not apply to other JetBrains IDEs at this time. So we're keeping an eye on how things go, and we will continue to evaluate the impact of this initiative. So why are they doing it? In making the non-commercial development free, we aim to make JetBrains IDE more accessible to a broader audience. We hope the new license model will further lower the barrier to using our IDE, helping you learn, grow, and stay creative. Uh, you will find more announcements about why we're doing this in the blog post in the original announcement. So that's back for like the Rider WebStorm announcement. Um, why would you choose C, C Lion? Uh, C++ is powerful, but is not exactly known for being easy or forgiving. Uh, while there are C, lean, low level, and still a core part of many computer science curricula, uh, whether you are learning these languages, dividing into system, diving into systems programming, or exploring embedded development on your own, C and C++ often come with a steep learning curve. Uh, we want to continue that journey with C Lion now free for non-commercial use. It's easier for you to experiment, learn, and build without worrying about the IDE license. Uh, details about the two, but the key thing you're going to also want to know about here, uh, if you're using the non-commercial license, you cannot opt out of the anonymous basic telemetry data. So information uh, is provided to improve the products. The data we collect is exclusively that of anonymous feature usage of our IDEs, focus on what actions are performed and what type of functionality of the IDE are used. We do not collect any other data. This is similar to their early access program and is, in, is compliant with their policy for privacy. So uh, those are the details all there. So basically, if you're using it in a non-commercial capacity, uh, you can now use C Lion completely free. What I love about this is it basically gives people a, a more of a hands-on time with it, or if you're working with open source, whatever, you can get 
get access to Sea Lion along with, again, WebStorm and Rider. Uh, if you've never heard of Sea Lion before, again, it is a CNC++ focused IDE. As you can see here, already on their, ups, uh, on their site, free for non-commercial use. Um, so you can go ahead and download it. One of the cool things about this, uh, and we'll notice it over here in the downloads, it is available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. So uh, that's a, a very nice part about their ecosystem. It's available on a multitude of different platforms. And the coolest part is it's a very similar experience. So if you learn one of their tools, say you learn their PHP tool and you need a C++ tool or a Java tool or a JavaScript tool or whatever, they have something for you and it is a very consistent experience across all of them. So full C++ support, uh, you have uh, support for make files, et cetera, in there as well. Um, so that's kind of the idea behind C Lion. I'm not gonna talk about C Lion too, too much, uh, but you can now check it out yourself uh, free in non-commercial usage, uh, which is definitely a nice development there. So that just happened. By the way, while I'm here, uh, there was another story from uh, JetBrains that I didn't cover. It wasn't really big enough to cover it, but I figured I'd mention it here because I'm talking about JetBrains anyways. Uh, the end of last month, so the end of April, they open sourced Melum. Uh, this is their uh, purpose-built large language model for developers. Specifically, this is all about code completion. So it is a now open source project. Uh, it supports code completion for Java, Kotlin, Python, Go, PHP, C, C++, C Sharp, JavaScript, TypeScript, CSS, HTML, Rust, and Ruby. And it is now open sourced. Um, so it's all available. Some more details about it are there. You get an idea of how well it actually performs. Um, and who it is for out there. So you can basically, uh, it is now live on Hugging Face if you want to get into that. So that was a nice move by uh, JetBrains there as well. So their uh, large language model for code completion has been open source as well. But the big news here today is all about Sea Lion. Have you ever checked out Sea Lion in the past? Now that there is a free asterisk version of it available. Are you going to check it out going forward? Uh, and what do you think of JetBrains products in general? Let me know in the comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.